Chris's in a world of horror, this is going to be a movie review. I just recently received a title in the mail from Art Exploitation Films, and the film we're going to look at today is called The Perfect Husband, or also What Lies Within, another alternate title. And like I said, received this in the mail to review, so I'm going to do that for you. Um, <clears throat> a little bit about the film. Uh, it was directed, it's an Italian film, it was directed by Luca Pavetto, and this movie drops on July 26th, which will be this Tuesday, uh, available, you know, through sites, and I'm assuming uh, Amazon and different areas and whatnot. Uh, it does star Brett Roberts and Gabriella Wright, and a cool little uh, psychological, weird-looking film, man. It's just, a, I thought, an enjoyable flick. It does have some slow moments in it. Um, as far as some slow burn, but I did like the ending in it. It had a good twist. Uh, but basically, it's set up as this husband and wife who has a child that dies at birth. And, you know, it's kind of just a little small frame of that. And then it just flash forwards and, you know, the death of their child. So they're going on this uh, retreat to try to put their marriage back together because they've been having problems coping with it. Uh, so basically what they do is they go to this remote cabin, which is uh, the lead character played by Brett Roberts. It's uh, his uncle's cabin. It's out in the middle of nowhere. And it's kind of one of those movies where they show up and they're trying to, you know, piece their life back together. Obviously, you know, that's a tough situation to be in, losing a child and, and the emotions that go through all that. So... Uh, it's one of those flicks. Uh, Brett Roberts, I thought, was an amazing actor. Uh, you might know him if you've ever seen the film back in like two, early 2000s, I think like 2002 maybe, uh, a movie called Night Stalker. He actually played the Night Stalker in it, and he's been in some other titles. And then also Gabriella Wright, uh, who plays the uh, wife in this film, uh, really enjoyed her as well. I thought the cast is very short but it was very good, so I was very impressed with the acting of this film. Uh, I love the plot of this one, you know, as far as the whole situation with trying to piece their life back together, and um, they seem like a, a normal family. Uh, she's taking it a little bit tougher than, obviously, than the husband, but he is trying to uh, save this marriage. Uh, there are some hints throughout the movie, and there will be some flashbacks as the movie progresses, uh, taking you back into moments of what happened. Um, but with that said, uh, basically with the child uh, being uh, born dead, unfortunately, and that is a devastating thing, uh, you get to see moments of that. And she went through a downward, uh, downward spiral, uh, somewhat, there are hints of her maybe being in some kind of hospital and uh, having some psychological effects and a doctor and whatnot. There is a moment where she actually calls her uh, head doctor, head shrink, and uh, is trying to get in touch with her to help her through some moments. Uh, so it's one of those films that it, it is a slow build, um, but once it takes place, once the action starts. I think it's really well done. I think there's some uh, decent gore effects in this one. There's not a lot, but at the end of the movie, there are some pretty decent gore effects, which being an Italian film, uh, you definitely expect that. If you're any fan, and if you listen to the Land of the Creeps podcast, we have started each and every other week doing an Italian horror episode where we're reviewing uh, horror films from the 70s and 80s uh, that are Italian horror and they were notoriously known for like lots of blood and if you like giallo films and stuff like that that's kind of what when I found out this was a Italian horror film I was kind of hoping it was going to go into that that realm into that world unfortunately it didn't totally but with that said I did enjoy this film I really did enjoy it and I know that there's uh, uh, some talk out there some people that didn't like it and that's you know, that's the way it is. I mean, not every movie is going to be for every person, unfortunately. And, and then fortunately, because, you know, it'd be a boring world if everything and everybody loved every movie that Greg and Mortis loved. And that if I hated it, you hated it. I love that there are movies out there that speak to people in different ways. 
And this is one of those films that I just I enjoyed. I, I had a lot of fun watching it. Uh, I would definitely rewatch it again. It's got rewatchability. Although I will give you a pre-warning, this is one of those movies. Once you watch it the first time, it'll kind of take the the surprise effect of the ending away from you. So I'm I'm curious to see what it's going to be like to watch it the second time. Is it going to have that same uh, emotion and flair for me as it did the first time? It's kind of like when you watch a movie, and, and not in this sense, but throw in a movie like um, The Sixth Sense or something like that style movie or even The Others. When you watch those films for the first time, it's kind of, you can re-watch them, but the, the greatness of that movie is lost then because you know the ending. This may end up falling into that, but I will definitely re-watch this one. Uh, but there again, the acting is really, I thought, really strong in this film. Had a lot of fun with the acting in it. Uh, there again, a small cast. You got mainly, you know, the, the two main characters. You do meet a ranger uh, that happens to be part of the movie. Not a, not a major, major role, but he is in the film, and I thought he done good. Uh, there are some other moments with like a doctor and some stuff like that, but basically the whole movie is just Gabriella Wright and Brett Robertson. And when you do a movie and you're in a movie and you're basically the whole movie, you better make a great performance, and I thought they did. I thought they done a great job, so very impressed. Um, I know that there's talks of another film coming out, uh, possibly in the future, um, or it may already be according to IMDb, uh, and Lucas is actually directing that one as well, or Luca, I say Lucas, Luca, and Gabriella and Brett is in that movie as well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it, hoping uh, to find that and watch that as well. But anyways, I did like this movie. Uh, I'll show you a little image on the back there, a little bit of gore. But man, this just had one of those endings. I absolutely loved. It blew me away. It just got really, really intense at the end. And I was sitting there like, God, I love this. If the whole movie would have been that way, it would have been, oh my God, I don't know if I could have handled a whole movie of just the madness going on. But anyways, it, really good. Bonus features on this film, you do get the original short film. This is from a short film with the same title uh, by Luca as well. And it was shot a few years ago. And uh, basically almost shot for shot as the full feature, but obviously shorter and uh, different actors, but I thought that was really cool that they threw that in, and it was really good as well. I almost felt like the short film may have been a tad better because it took away all the slow moments and just made everything more of an action moment. So I don't know. I mean, I just enjoyed it. I'm glad they threw it in. There's also a little bit of a bonus uh, behind-the-scenes featurette in this one that's pretty decent, and then you got trailers from art exploitation films. So very impressed uh, with this film. Looking forward to uh, seeing more by this company. I'll definitely be purchasing uh, some in the future. So uh, looking out for them, definitely check them out. Like I said, this movie comes out July 26th on DVD, Blu-ray. You can get your hands on it. Already, I think, available on video on demand in some certain areas like that. So I personally liked it, and I think you should give it a watch for sure. Uh, so with that said... The Perfect Husband, or What Lies Within, there's your cover art. Check that out, pretty badass with the axe. There you are with a creepy lady on it. And uh, it says to love, honor, and slay. Once again, art exploitation films and uh, The Perfect Husband. So definitely get your hands on it this Tuesday, July 26th. I think you should watch it. We'll see you on the flip side. As always, you can follow me at Land of the Creeps dot blogspot.com a podcast where we're reviewing movies every week now uh we're doing a italian horror part of our show one week the following week we're in the 1930s now with our journey through horror cinema and then the following week will be another italian horror and then the following week will be our new film so four episodes a month and we're giving you a wide variety of stuff that you can watch and review you know hopefully watch along with us as we review them so you can follow us there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Horror Mino, and, and anywhere else you want to follow me at. But definitely check us out. It's an art exploitation film, The Perfect Husband. Get it July 26. Can't get enough of it. Greg, I'm Mortis approved. See you on the flip side. Peace. <laughs>